2020 season has been a record-breaking year for quarterbacks. So far through Week 11, QBs have thrown for the most touchdowns ever, offenses are putting up the most yards and the most points in the history of the game. It's no surprise when looking at the quality and depth of the quarterback position, where every single Sunday we get to watch every possible attribute performed at its highest capability. The arm strength of Aaron Rodgers, the mental processing of Tom Brady, or extend the playability of Russell Wilson. We've reached a point in time where the position is so loaded, the skill set so meticulously refined, that inevitably it evolved and produced the pinnacle of the position. A man who has seemingly plucked each of these skills from the greatest QBs on the planet, rolled all of their best attributes into one, and has redefined the quarterback position. Patrick Mahomes. He has a blend of talent so complete he can pick and choose which to rip you with. And what's horrifying? Even after winning the MVP in his first full season, and then the Super Bowl the next year, is he keeps getting better. You can pencil him in as the favorite to win MVP every year for the rest of his life. And 2020 is no exception. He has 27 touchdowns to just two interceptions, his 3,035 passing yards leads the NFL, he has the highest QBR, the second highest QB rating, and now we're seeing some of the historic records fall like fastest ever to 100 touchdowns. Pat needed just 40 games. He is playing the hardest position in the most brutally ruthless league in the world, and he's doing it on rookie mode. And what's truly crazy is that he's still one of the youngest QBs in the league at 25 years old. When the best is this young, that means there are still a lot of areas to grow and develop. Any skill could be refined and improved, so how does the best get even better? The great quarterbacks don't just rely on their talent, but increase their skills in subtle ways so minuscule they might not show up on TV. Most QBs are operating one play at a time, forcing defenders to cover within a three-second window. But what Mahomes can do is not just break the pocket and run, but create multiple plays within one single down. The defense can be in the perfect play call, but as we've seen a thousand times before, he can buy time and create a variety of opportunities for the play to succeed. Take this example against the Raiders, where the Chiefs are trying to flood their coverage with five receivers strong and are running a post-wheel peel concept up top. The Raiders have a near-perfect play call, cover one man match, meaning instead of forcing the corner to follow the shallow all the way across the field, the rat zone linebacker will match his route so the corner can zone off dropping directly in front of tight end Travis Kelsey. Mahomes knows pre-snap he wants to throw the wheel route to his receiver Tyree Kill who is switch releasing with Meikle Hardman to open up the sideline. But since Hardman can't get across the corner's face to create space for Tyreek, Mahomes' read is too muddied for him to pull the trigger on the wheel. He can't really progress to either check down because the rat linebacker has swallowed up the shallow route and the corner has sunk back into Kelsey's window. So right here, the play is dead for 95% of quarterbacks, but not for Mahomes. He escapes the pocket, and suddenly, the Raiders have a whole new play they have to defend. We've seen Pat race up the sideline like against the Titans in the AFC Championship, and we've certainly seen him make bizarre off-balance throws super late in the down. On this particular play, he thinks Tyreek's gonna be open up the sideline, so his post-snap process is almost exclusively concentrated on setting that up. He peeks at the safety Jonathan Abrams to confirm he's a middle-of-the-field defender and not playing a deep half, then confirms that Tyreek's gaining leverage on the corner, so he goes back to Abrams to freeze him in place to make sure he's not driving towards the wheel. But as he loads to throw, he sees Hardman hasn't cleared the space, so Tyreek won't be open. Here's the rat backer taking the shallow and the corner switching into his middle zone so Pat can't dump it off. And after he doesn't throw deep, here's Malik Collins barreling straight at him. He's a threat with his legs, he's a threat with his arm, and this throw 25 yards downfield while falling away is almost impossible. The Raiders played this about as best they could, but no defense is designed to cover anybody, let alone the Chiefs, for this long. The amount of time that Pat can create on any play is basically unprecedented, and the skills he uses during that extra time are also unprecedented. 
there's just a few who can do one or the other at even comparable levels, but Pat's combination is simply outrageous. The Chiefs start in a 2x2 two two stacked alignment to the boundary to identify what the safety Trey Boston is doing on the play. They have a vertical route from Tyreek, so if Boston is manned on Kelsey, he would be open up the sideline. Just a few plays before, they used a similar pre-snap stack alignment, and the motion confirmed to Pat that the defense was playing a one-high man coverage, especially when he saw Boston coming down and inside. So then the next time they did it, a linebacker moved, and he's not very likely matched on Kelsey. Plus, Boston is too far off to be in man and too far away to roll to the middle, so Mahomes knows the Panthers are hiding something. He has that fade-out combination to the left with a post-dig Mills combination to his right, which he'll progress to if Tyreek isn't open. Boston's in this ambiguous look because he's trying to disguise the Panthers' Tampa 2 zone coverage, which is cover 2 with a linebacker covering the deep middle. Mahomes wants Tyreek one-on-one -on -one if it's man. But if it is Tampa 2, he'll try him on the whole shot. But when Boston doesn't play a typical Tampa 2 deep half and instead shades towards Tyreek effectively doubling him, Pat knows he has to come back to Mills. It can be a good concept or a bad concept against Tampa 2 depending on how the defense plays it. If the hook defenders can squeeze the dig route and the Tampa backer Shaq Thompson can top the post, nobody will be open. Thompson's assignment is to relate to the receivers while keeping zone eyes on Mahomes, which is difficult for a linebacker in this much space to guard someone as fast as Meikle Hardman, especially when the Chiefs add the wrinkle where he fakes to the corner to widen the other deep half safety, which looks to Thompson like he's going out just as he's getting his eyes back on Mahomes. With the safety widened out, there's more room over Thompson if Mahomes can get the ball there, but Thompson does a good job sinking back into the window while keeping eyes on the quarterback. Pat doesn't care. He throws way before Hardman is open and knows he needs to put a little extra ketchup on it to get it 40 yards downfield. He knew he would have the opportunity to make this crazy throw because of Tyreek's route not being open. If Boston was in his typical deep half, Hardman's post wouldn't have space. But when Mahomes sees Boston shaded that far towards the sideline, he knows later in the down the deep post will be open. Shaq Thompson takes this angle because he knows for every other quarterback he's played against, they wouldn't have the time, the guts, or ability to make this throw. He thinks he's in good enough position to force Pat to throw the dig or check it down, but when the ball whizzes past his head, he is simply dumbfounded. Mahomes has improved his ability to anticipate coverages and decipher then attack the holes in every defense. The more he sees safeties rolling down or linebackers overplaying their assignments, the quicker he's been anticipating his next move. On third and eight, the Chiefs are running cross dagger, a cross with a dig behind it, tagged with a swirl route from Kelsey on the other side. Mahomes sees a cornerback over Kelsey telling him it's likely zone coverage, and since the Panthers are in a too high look, so maybe it's cover two zone, Kelsey's swirl route could gain leverage inside, then sit down and find open space. But as Mahomes begins his post-snap process, he sees Trey Boston rotate down to create a cover six buzz look, which is cover three zone but with a weak side safety rotation. So after Mahomes sees him come down and taking away Kelsey, Pat goes backside away from that rotation and hits Tyreek for the first down. The cross dagger combination to his right has better answers against cover three than cover two. And what What's important to know about zone coverage is even though it's zone, each defender still has to relate to a specific receiver. So though Shaq Thompson is a hook zone defender, he's still relating to number three, Corn Elder on number two, and the corner on one. Cuz Thompson is guarding the stick since it's third and eight, he overplays Meikle Hardman to deny access to an easy first down which opens the backside dig and the Chiefs pick up 15. Here's where we can see Pat's ability to anticipate coverages, but also how his movement efficiency helps him play even faster. He checks Kelsey at the snap, but also sees Boston rotating down. Then as he sees Thompson collision Hardman, watch how he's setting up to throw the dig while he's in his progression. Every other QB sets their feet for each route, then throws. But Pat is in constant attack mode, and his confidence reading coverages allows him to predict the holes in the defense before they are actually open. That anticipation is all over his tape, and borders on superhuman psychic abilities. Back in the season opener, the Texans are 
are playing cover one rat with linebacker Zach Cunningham zoned up in the middle. The Chiefs motion Kelsey over to force the Texans to realign to the now three receiver side and to give Cunningham bad eyes. He sees Clyde released to the flat, so he panics and collisions the new number three running across his face. When Mahomes sees him aggressively moving to contact that receiver, he knows Kelsey will slip in right behind him and look at exactly when he throws the ball. He has so much trust in himself and his receivers that when he sees a defender move one inch too far, he lets it rip. You can see him watching Cunningham, who is supposed to be the rat. When Mahomes sees him moving towards Kelsey, but has his full attention on the receiver, Pat sees the moment he overcommits just a little too far and knows he won't be able to whirl back around. Mahomes releases this ball well before anybody should have the right to, and adds another highlight to the reel. He makes all sorts of plays that nobody else can, in a variety of ways that we've never seen before. He forces you to defend not just the play that's drawn up, but three, four, five different plays that he's creating all at once. His anticipation has continued to improve not just with his mind, but with his body and footwork, consistently putting himself in position to make throws way before they would usually come out. He's always had confidence in his skills, but that confidence is growing with his improved skills and morphing into a whole new iteration of quarterback surpassing the Mahomes that already blew us away in the first place. Even when the defense has the best possible play call and coverage behind it, it simply doesn't matter. And that is scary. It took years for Rodgers, Russ, Breeze, and Brady to reach this level of mastery, and Mahomes arguably already achieved it in his rookie year. But today, we've seen those additional little skills that have taken him to the next level, the microscopic nuances in his game that have gotten even better, and will only continue to get better as he continues to play. Mahomes is the amalgam of all the best quarterbacks you've ever seen, but he hasn't become complacent with what was his already ridiculous level of play. He's improving. He's chasing greatness. Chiefs Kingdom is in good hands, because for Patrick Mahomes, this is just the beginning.